Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and jelly babies. Oh, welcome back. To Outlast. I don't know how long ago, how much longer, sorry, we're gonna last. In our current state. But all I know is, we're in the male ward, and... There's one less monster in the world. That last episode was just horrendous. Probably some of the worst things I've ever seen in games. Hey, it's that guy again. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I hope the DLC doesn't end right there. Otherwise, we're still in the same episode and I'll just tag it on. And I'm saying this simply to remind myself later on. Oh, something's on fire though. I know I said burn it to the ground, I didn't realize the message would get across that quickly. Chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know he had a church. Where's God when you need him? Wait, didn't that... that... Didn't that happen in the main game? Is this stuff taking place at the same time? It can't be. Can it? I actually don't know. That'd be interesting if it did. Oh, hey, soldiers. Hello? He even took his pants. The monster. Serve and protect. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now. They're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out, escape. Oh, so I'm intentionally not saying anything. Let's wrap this up and get back to the truck. Amen. I kind of like how, you know, despite how well I construct all these notes, I'm clearly descending into some kind of madness. But then again, those guys will likely just kill me if they see me. So you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough for being cautious. From Helen Grant. Dear Sirs, the, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Wernick from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper, and legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients, that one, that one, and that one, I have, or, have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have combed through Vernick's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Vernick was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own in infirmity, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Yeah, I was talking about that before. There are no women in this corporation at all. Oh god. I didn't think I'd be running away from the soldiers, honestly. Yeah, just get everyone out. That's a cool image. Well, probably not for, you know, religious people, but it's... <laughs> Just very generally speaking, quite a cool image. Uh, let's keep moving. God, you know, these guys, they died horrifically, but you got to admit, they're probably the lucky ones to have died at all. God, this looks familiar. Are we, like, nearing the main lobby, the main hall? Because if so, then that's likely going to be where this adventure ends. And I use the term adventure loosely, more like nightmare. Got to take more evidence, though. There's always time to take more evidence. Caution. Level triple black security protocols. You, that's how you know it's bad. Including chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate adaptive. Hyperbaric chambers are to be used at all times in transit. Chemical sim stimulation is highly recommended for all personnel within 500 meters of the patients. Attempts at communication should be assumed to be hallucinations and disregarded. 
facial disfigurement should not be taken as sign of lost acuity. They, they are physically blind but not unseeing. Security clearances for Project Wall Rider will not apply to information regarding patients. That one, that one, and that one. New security clearances will be issued and appropriate protocol assigned. Any more evidence? The music's kind of... It, it feels like a finale right now. Oh my god, this is definitely the main... main hole. Because that's where I, I, I got ambushed down there, didn't I? There it is! How do I get down? Aha! Hang on. Are these closed? It's gotta be closed, right? Oh god, so who's gonna kill me right here? Because the first guy we run into in the main game is that big dude. Mr. Park. <laughs> How the fuck are you still alive? <laughs> How are you still alive? Sorry, I know you wanna kill me, but just excuse me for just two seconds while I write this down. <laughs> Jeremy Blair, my supervisor's supervisor, a man who'd see me skinned, salted, and raped for a promotion and a few martinis. Injured, dying if he's not already dead. Well, he's definitely not already dead because he's, kind of, he's he's literally grabbing me right now. I'm trying to feel sorry for him, really, I am. But there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Okay, maybe I'm not. Maybe I spoke too soon. Don't die to this guy. Oh, oh no. What a way to go. Oh, that would have been so bad if I died to him after getting through all that. Probably get killed by soldiers outside. So close. Let's look at his guts. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gotta get a shot of that. Guys, we're gonna make it. Hold hands. It's gonna happen. The sun rises on a glorious new day. I'm shocked it didn't just end as soon as I left, honestly. Oh my god. I'm out, out the front gates. Arkham Asylum will hold me no longer. Wait, is that the car of the main guy? With his big glowy door? Enter Miles' Jeep. Let's hope he left the keys. He did leave the keys. Who the hell does that? Honestly. Who is that? Oh my god. Okay. Get it in gear, dude. Come on. Wow, that that is a narrow turning radius. Did I actually get out? So it must have been happening at the same time Press then. that button. It's not going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Yep. Yep, let's do it. Don't give me a moral choice, just do it. 
What am I putting it on YouTube? Like what? Oh, square. Yeah. Oh wow. Was there a choice there, or, or do you just have to? Wow, that's interesting. I did not think for a second that he would make it out alive. But then when the timeline started lining up a little bit... I was kind of thinking maybe, but you know, even right down to the last second I was like, what? What's gonna kill? Come on, what is gonna kill me? Oh boy. You would, uh... I, I, th I think if anybody went through that, they'd likely, uh upload it, wherever the hell they're uploading it to. <laughs> Could you imagine uploading something like that and it gets like 50 views and no one ever finds it? And you'd be like, come on, come on, come on, guys. Does nobody care? <laughs> oh, anyway. We are done. Control is down. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Outlast, the Whistleblower DLC. I actually... I, I enjoyed it, but I think some of the... The novelty and the flair of maybe the initially playing this game has kind of worn off a little bit because I kind of really did blast blast through it. I know that it's not a massively long DLC, and I've kind of I think I've come in a little bit under par maybe in terms of time, but it's still been very enjoyable. I think that whole sequence with the the guy who wanted to uh, you know he just he just wanted a family really that's all he wanted right? But that was kind of the creepiest thing maybe I think I've ever seen in a game. One of them anyway, and certainly the most like visceral body horror type thing of the, in that uh, you know I'm I'm really trying to dodge around what it what actually happened but you were all there you all saw it <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll never see it again cuz I'll never want to see that again oh, I'm shivering just thinking about it but anyway I think the experience as a whole uh was very enjoyable I don't know how much the whistleblower added in terms of story to the whole thing but it was kind of nice to see everything go down at the beginning there and you know at least introduce some creepy new enemies and although the uh, the older enemies were in it it didn't kind of rely on them to, to provide the same kind of scares you know But yeah, really enjoyable. And I don't play a lot of stuff like this, so for me, it's been quite unique, I suppose. <laughs> I don't really play a lot of first-person horror on, on this channel, you know, never mind. Um, in my normal life, so... Yeah, very different. You can see why it created such a buzz back when it, you know, first came out. But now Outlast 2 has been released, and from what I hear, it's not that great, and it's not having the kind of impact that certainly this one did when it came out. So, I don't know how interested I am in it. You guys will have to tell me if it's worth it. Like, if you guys have got it, or heard good things, or know good things. Maybe we'll get to it at some point in the future, but I don't think it's going to come next, because... I was just kind of done with this, maybe, this environment for a little bit. And I kind of want to move on to something that's a little bit closer to my heart, let's say. And something uh, much more family-friendly, also. <laughs> Yeah, I got a couple of things in mind, but uh, uh, there's a there's a special sort of one-off thing coming up as well, um, which I've kind of had in mind for a little bit. So yeah, there's a few things to look forward to. I don't want to say when and where these things will be, because you never know what's going to happen in life, and if my calculations are correct, I'm going to be very busy uh, very soon, but I will always do my best to find time to... to, uh, to, to keep doing this, because like I say, I mean, I would, I would you know, I, sometimes I take breaks, and I apologize for that, but I would never just leave. I would never just, like, cut the video now and say, and never come back and never say anything. Um, you know, wh whenever the day comes that I stop doing this, I'll certainly make you very aware of it. And you know what? I'm probably always going to be playing games for my whole life, at least for the foreseeable future of it, so... I'll be on Twitch for a long, long time, even after this YouTube thing is, is, all, is all over, so... <laughs> there you go. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for joining me once again, um, I hope to see you all in in the next playthrough, thank you for subscribing, thank you for, you know, if you're one of those people who subscribed in the last sort of, I mean, what has it been, like two months or something, maybe just over two months, um, and I haven't actually put anything out in that time, <laughs> thank you for subscribing during that time, and, uh, and sticking with it and waiting for the next thing, and to anybody out there who's been subscribing for a long, long time, 
Thank you so much. It's it's always good to have you here. I always still still read the comments and the messages, and I still appreciate every little bit about it. It's a lot. It's still a lot of fun for me. Um, but yeah, in terms of the next game, I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, it's going to be quite a big one. It's going to be quite a long one. It's going to take up a lot of time. But I'm really excited about it. It's released next month. So anything that's released next month that you think I might want to play might give you a bit of an indication of what it is. But yeah, it's something that's... Uh, I, I, it's been a while since I've indulged in a game that, you know, I've loved for many, many years and played over and over. I said that before. And I kind of want to get back to that. Um, I, you know, it's it, the more and more I think about it, the, it was so much easier years and years ago when I had all the Resident Evils and all the Metal Gear Solids and, and everything to kind of choose from. Um, right now, I don't really have a, a, you know, a big series or I suppose the Silent Hill, but I think Silent Hill 4 is kind of the last decent Silent Hill game. Maybe you might disagree. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's 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 not as much choice for me in terms of games that I know really well. But there are a few things left, and I kind of want to go back to that because I think I enjoy that a little bit more. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Whatever comes next, whatever happens, I'll always try and do my best for you. And I really appreciate all the support you've given me. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye bye. Ha! No. No. I'm not doing it on insane. That's, well, insane. <laughs>